Hello everyone, my name is Tyson, and welcome to another episode of Get In Get Out Reviews. I'm actually going to be rebranding what this show is about to make it so I can actually use the format more often and kind of make it filler for bigger reviews that I have planned. The show is no longer just about games that are on sale, it's about games that are fairly cheap, on or off sale, or game slash mods that are free and short. I will still be making full reviews for things such as Brutal Doom, which I will be retouching when version 20 comes out whenever Sgt. Mark IV releases it. To slightly stray from the topic, on the topic of Brutal Doom updates, I actually want Sgt. Mark IV to take his time. I'd rather see a full, complete, late project than a rushed, incomplete, on-time project. Back on topic, the show is also no longer going to be games that I'm going to review later. That particular format is now going to be called At First Glance. This doesn't mean I'm not going to be reviewing Nosferatu anymore. I'm still going to review it at some point, but I've been busy with work and its appeal didn't last because I have a lot of better games. That's not saying it was a bad game, I just have better games that I spent more money on, which makes those a priority. I actually posted a link on my official Facebook, which you can find in the description, that says it would take me 197 days or 4,728 hours and 49 minutes of continuous game time to complete my entire Steam library. With that being said, let's stick into today's topic, which is a free game that was made in the PewDiePie Jam, and not much more than 72 hours have been put into it. So it's very alpha, not much bug fixing has been done. They actually advertise that it's buggy on the download page. The game I'm talking about is Super Wolfenstein HD, a game that takes the Wolfenstein 3D formula and adds destructible walls, physics, and a shovel. Most of this review will be talking about the gameplay, with a little bit of talk about the design as there's not really an official story for the game. That being said, the game is pretty easy once you get the hang of how to beat the different types of enemies, of which there are only four types. Your standard soldier, your dual wielder with more health than the average Nazi soldier, your double-handed minigunner with even more health, and the German shepherds with the least health which also pose the least threat. There are three different weapons, though one of them is more of a stun weapon. You have your knives which you throw, you have your pistol which you can find ammo boxes to pick up, and you have your shovel which was the stun weapon, but it also lets you retrieve knives from fallen enemies. I'm gonna jump over the border from gameplay to design. One thing I love about this game is that, as I mentioned before, the walls are destructible, and the way the game teaches you that is either when you miss and shoot a wall with any of your weapons, which you are most likely to miss first with a knife as it's the beginning weapon and it's not accurate, when an enemy misses and shoots a wall, or when you look at a certain wall and see a chunk missing, which draws attention to the fact that the walls are voxels, to a point. Obviously, being that the game was made in 72 hours, the maps aren't big and have unbreakable walls after a certain point in digging. The cool thing about walls that are already broken is that if you dig past that, you'll find ammo or knives, which teaches you that like old school games, there are secrets in the walls. Similar to how Super Meat Boy teaches you that you need to run and jump to make it over certain gaps, this game teaches you that you can break out certain walls if you miss the first couple of levels by putting a shovel directly in front of a broken wall. I love this, it's a modern way to teach players old school game mechanics that's done through the, the game design rather than through a text box, a la Ego Raptor's Sequelitis Mega Man X discussion. I think part of what makes this game so amazing is that it doesn't take itself seriously. This is obvious all the way from before you even download the game, if you take the time to read the game's description. Another thing I love about this game is really how deeply it embraces the old school style. You can really see it oozing out when you click for the first time and it shows you the old get psyched screen from Wolfenstein 3D, but done in a more cartoony style like the rest of the game. Part of your decision of whether or not you actually want to play this is going to be based on whether or not you can appreciate goofy physics games like Gmod or Goat Simulator. However, what makes it stick apart from that is that unlike Goat Simulator and Gmod, this game is completely free. It has the same kind of appeal as something like Not Tetris, but not quite because the controls aren't difficult due to the addition of physics, but the gameplay is completely altered. Guards miss a lot more rather than hit scanning. Enemies get knocked over when shot or stabbed, and if you play it full action, you can tear through even the hardest enemies by pinning them on the ground with about 30 or so knives or pistol rounds. Bottom line, do I recommend this game? I recommend that if you're a fan of old school shooters to give it a try. If they were charging for it, I wouldn't, but as a free game that was made in 72 hours, it's not a bad time killer with goofy physics that you'll go back every once in a while just for shits and giggles. 
Anyway, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to leave a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my content, click on my channel icon to see what else I have to offer. If you'd like to see more of my content in the future, please click the subscribe button. If you'd like updates when they happen, check the description for links to all my social media platforms that I have an official profile on. If you'd like me to do this full time to get more videos out, please click the Patreon button to learn what exactly that website is all about. Anyway guys, this is Retro Hellspawn, signing off.